Hi, this is Paul Asimvedo for WPCentral.com. I'm reviewing Rocket Riot for Windows Phone 7. It was developed by Code Glue and published by Microsoft Game Studios. Rocket Riot was previously an Xbox 360 downloadable game. Unlike the console version, the mobile game is single player only, which is a shame. Let's pick a character. Everyone in this game is shaped like a bean and has a rocket on their bottoms. Speaking of beans, you know what I hate? Licorice jelly beans. Anyway, there are over a hundred characters, which you unlock by defeating them in battle. That's a lot. Rocket Riot was originally a twin-stick shooter. In the portable version, you still move with your left thumb and aim with your right. You might expect the controls to be difficult, but I think they actually work better than the Xbox 360 version. They just feel great. It's really easy to move and shoot wherever you want. In the Xbox game, when you collected items, you had to activate them with a button. But in this one, they activate automatically, which solves the problem of not having any buttons. The object of most levels is to kill hordes of enemies, but in this particular level I'm just trying to survive until the sun comes up. The environments are fully destructible, so you can make tunnels to get around or hide from enemies. When you get hit, your life slowly refills, but enemies die in one hit. Except for bosses. So yeah, there are boss levels and also sports levels. I'll show you a sports level. In these, you have to get a football and get it through the goal a certain number of times. The theme song gets real old real fast due to being overplayed. These levels are good for variety, but eventually they have way too many enemies and are required to make you tons of goals, which gets really annoying. Rocket Riot's campaign has 48 levels. It's a bit shorter than the Xbox 360 version, but it never gets frustratingly hard, unlike the original. The campaign should take three or four hours to complete. You can replay levels in quick play, which you see here. I wish this version also had the original's never-ending endurance mode. That would give it a bit more life. Xbox Live achievements do give Rocket Riot some replay value. It's easy to get most of them in a single playthrough of the game, but one requires you to blow up a million blocks, and there's another for killing 5,000 enemies. You'll probably need to play through the game again to get those. Rocket Riot for Windows Phone 7 costs $6.99, which is kind of expensive for a game of this length. But it's a really fun game that controls better than most phone games. The retro graphics also look really sharp. Everyone should at least grab the trial on the marketplace and then decide whether or not to join the riot. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at WPCentral.com.